Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And in this quick little lesson, I want to show you how to manipulate hair using a bone deformer. Now, you might be thinking, Tony, dude, why don't you just simply use a curve deformer? I mean, that that's what it's for. Well, here's the thing. I'm actually using Harmony Essentials. And what I'm showing you, this is actually a small little portion of what's going to be in our upcoming course, creating simple turnaround rigs in Harmony Essentials. OK, and we're pretty much doing pre-sales for that, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Meanwhile, let's play with this hair. We've got the hair that's actually on a different layer here, the, uh, the back hair. Let's do Command Z. And what I want to do, actually a couple of things. Let's go ahead and select the mouths layer that's actually on uh, the layer beneath the head. I'm going to move that forward, just doing a little bit of nudging. Hold on my option key, press the down arrow or the arrow pressing coming toward me. And that just moves it forward. All right, and that's Alt down arrow on a PC. So just to show you what our little character looks like, if uh, and this is actually all set up in Harmony Essentials. So again, what I wanna do is I wanna do something with our hair here. Uh, first off, the pivot point is actually dead center. Let's go ahead and change that. I kind of place it there on a solo this just so I can see where it is. Makes sense. All right. Now, um, I'm going to add a bone deformer. In Harmony Essentials, you actually have a bone deformer and game bone deformers. So you don't have the envelope or the curve deformers that you actually have in Harmony Premium. So what I want to do is I'm going to come up here to my rigging tool. All right. And it looks like a little dot's already there from the last time I did this. Okay, so that's where I actually had started. Let's see if I can get rid of that real quick. All right, that's gone. Let's see. Move my mouse back where they were. And go ahead and adjust my hair again. It's that fun part of when you actually do things and forget that you actually did them. All right, let's try that once more. So for the hair, I'm gonna solo this so I can see it. I am actually going to place my pivot point right up top here and come down here about midway or kind of the top part of the hair. Click here and then once toward the base. All right, now the main thing I need to do to give us a little more creativity, uh, this little circle here is called the articulator. So I'm gonna stretch that out pretty wide. Okay, I'm gonna undo that real quick. I added too many points there. All right, so that's set up. Let's make sure I'm moving this where I need it to be. That's pretty lined up. With that last little point down. All right. So now I'm going to take a look at how this looks. I'll grab the transform tool and I'll grab the bone here. That looks pretty decent. And here's the other thing in Harmony Essentials, you don't get to add another deformation change just because you're changing out the drawing. It's going to be the same deformation, uh, the same deformation chain for each drawing. So if we go to the second drawing, okay, it's not bad, it still works. The third drawing, and I'm gonna unsolo this for a second, so that's part of our hair there. That looks still pretty good. So this is why I kind of uh, made this a little bit different. I tried it a little lower at first, it didn't look too well. All right, so here we go, that looks pretty good. All right, and so, that is our one deformer that we are able to play around with the front view of our hair, three quarters and the side view, okay? So if you wanna see more of this, we just finished doing a webinar with Toon Boom. Um, I think that'll be coming out soon uh, where we showed you a little bit more of how we set this up. And again, the course is gonna be coming out on June 1st where we go into a lot more detail of 
using some of the limitations that are in Harmony Essentials, we're going to use those to our advantage and show you that you can still create a pretty powerful little rig in Harmony Essentials. My logic is this. I'm not trying to say that Harmony Essentials can in any way compete with Harmony Premium. However, I do think that Harmony Essentials, which is the entry point of Toon Boom software, I do think that it blows Flash or Adobe Animate out of the water. That's just me. And so I want to show you exactly how you can create some pretty powerful rigs, a uh, nice little turnaround rig uh, inside Harmony Essentials. Meanwhile, here's a link in the description as well as in our little call out cards. You can actually get this at a discount before the launch. And there's only a few more days while you can still get that discount. And as a thank you, we do send you uh, one of our little mini courses. And that's kind of how to work with the puppet, the pepper. And even I think we even did a walk cycle in that. So. This has been Tony Ross. Remember, make art, not excuses. So get out of here. Go make something. Have a good one.